Hello everyone. Today we're going to identify your homemaking type. You're either a sidetracked homemaker or you're a born organized homemaker. There are more than one kind in a family. My daughter Robin is born organized. My daughter Karen is sidetracked. I am sidetracked. My husband is born organized. So you can, and my daughter Robin's children, she has two sidetracked, one born organized. My daughter Karen's children are both sidetracked. So, and her husband is sidetracked. So they're a pure sidetracked family, poor thing. Um, but what that means mainly when you're sidetracked is you have a little attention deficit disorder. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. It's just the way you're wired and it's okay. And I'm not a doctor, but I can tell you that I have so many ADD people following me and I have a little ADD as well, ADHD. My sister takes meds for ADHD. Her sons both have ADHD. So there you go. So I'm sidetracked and I have ADHD. Um, you wouldn't know it to look at me, but I really do. So I have to use the tools that we've come up with to manage my ADHD in homemaking. And so let's identify what is sidetracked and what is born organized. A born organized person can go into a room and clean it and organize it and throw things away and maybe they spend an hour even, uh, but they'll get it done and it looks great and they go on with their day. They don't worry about it. They don't plan on it. They just go do it. We, as sidetrack people, tend to make lots of lists. If we were just sent into a messy room, we could become overwhelmed and not wanna do anything and just absolutely retire from that room. Um, we, we are overwhelmed very easily uh, when we do get to cleaning, we often do a deep dive where we stay in there for hours and hours and, and just work until it's absolutely perfect. And then we're never going to see that room again and we're so mad at our family when they mess it up. That's a sign of a person who is sidetracked. A sidetracked person takes much, much longer to do an, a task because they tend to run all over the place. So if I said for you to declutter this cabinet, you might say, oh, well, this cup doesn't go here. It goes over here. So you run and go put it over there. Then you come back. What is this doing in here? This goes in my bedroom. And then you run to your bedroom and put it back. And so you're running all over the place or you don't have a place for things. So when you're learning the, pro the processes that I'm giving you, we're gonna learn to use three containers, throw away, put away, give away, so that you can stay in place Stay right there like your foot is just hammered in with a nail. You're there and you're not moving so that when you're decluttering, you're able to take things and put them in the proper containers instead of running all over the house, wasting your precious time. Because I'm only giving you 15 minute chunks of time to do your work because that's what you can stay focused for that amount of time generally if you try hard. And um, you're gonna learn new habits this way. The, and I always say the dripping of water wears away stone. And it's this little over and over again that happens. Um, a sidetrack person wants Samantha from Bewitched to come in and dee -dee 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 -dee, get her house all perfect or some TV program to come in and organize her home. And then she says, if I could only get it that way, I could keep it that way. Remember when you started school back, if any of you actually had books <laughs> in those days, and you would get books and notebooks and things and you would have them and you'd be so happy and it'd be so clean and pretty. And you'd say, oh, this year is the year. I'm gonna keep everything neat and tidy. And by the end of the first day, you already had splotches and things wrong and you were so frustrated because it wasn't new and pretty anymore because we didn't know how to keep it that way. Ours was the desk that was full of crap <laughs> where the teacher said, okay, today we're cleaning your desks out. And the little girl in front of you just had a tidy little stack and maybe she needed to straighten her pencil case. We had to pull all this paper and crap out from our desk. And I use that word freely because that's really what it is. Crumpled papers and torn things and old tests were all stuffed in my desk at school. So that gives you a picture of what you, can you identify already who you are? Are you born organized? My born organized daughter, Robin, says, because she knows that I teach people how to do this, mom, why are you having them write all that stuff down? They could have had it done by the time they write it down. That's a born organized person. They have it, they have like little compartments in their head where everything goes and they're not overwhelmed. We on the other, have, other, other hand have ping pong balls popping around in there. And so if we have four things to do, it feels like 16 because it keeps bouncing off the sides of our brain. We are not compartmentalized. We are lacking that 
way of thinking and there's nothing wrong with you. I want you to know that there's nothing wrong with you. You just need a tool and your tool is a planner. You need a planner, something to put those think those ping pong balls in so that you can see, I only have four things to do today, not 16, just four. And then if you see anything else that needs done in the room where you're working or in any other room for that matter, you can relieve yourself of the pressure by saying, I see you and I have a plan for you. And then you go get your planner and write it in there. Next Wednesday, the toys in the playroom. I'm gonna work on the toys in the playroom for 15 minutes or whatever it is that you decide you need to do, okay? So this is how you tell if you're sidetracked or if you're born organized. Now, can you stay with me when you're born organized? Absolutely. This is an excellent system for everyone. It still will teach you habits. You still will have a springtime clean home all year long. You will never have to work one hour at a time on a, on a cluttering, decluttering or a cleaning project. You'll work 15 minutes at a time, but you will do it on a consistent basis so that in the end, your home will always be pretty and clean. So if you're born organized, it's not a no-no for you to be here. I welcome you. However, I am mostly attracting sidetracked people because it feels so good to find a home where they are normal and it's okay to be sidetracked. And it is okay to be a sidetracked person. It is not okay to say, I'm just a messy person and that's the way it's gonna be because here's what will happen. As you age and as your children age or age out, you're going to have more and more and more clutter because each year is a, a different layer of sediment so that by the time you're an old woman, you're gonna be living in a really rotten place. It won't be that tidy, pretty little home that you always envisioned you would be retired in. It will be an overwhelming, cluttered, pressurizing situation where you're not gonna be free. And I want you to have freedom. I want you to have the freedom of a streamlined home and homes for everything in your home. So that's the system I'm teaching you and that's the system I want you to adopt. I also want you to start thinking of yourself as a tidy person, as an or a neat person. You may not be organized, but you can say, I'm a neat person. Think of the things that you are neat with. Are you neat when you put on your nail polish? Are you sloppy? Are you neat when you comb your hair? Are you neat when you put on your lipstick? Are you neat and at work, but not at home? Find something that you're neat with and, and hang on to that and say, you know what, I am a neat person. I just don't have a system. So, and that's what I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a system. So I want you to do that today. I want you to think about whether you're organized, in other words, a born organized person, or whether you're sidetracked or have ADD. You don't have to have ADD to be sidetracked, but I guarantee you probably do. <laughs> okay, so once you identify who you are, then you know what you need. And it all works here. But if you are born organized, you can use other things like Marie Kondo. A sidetracked person cannot Marie Kondo their home. They can't. Because if you say to that person who's sidetracked, go get all of your clothes and put them in a room and go through your clothes, whether you love them or you need to kiss them goodbye or whatever it is. I love Marie Kondo, she's absolutely darling. She is a born organized person. She was an organized baby, an organized little girl, and she's an organized woman. She's absolutely precious and looking at her things looks like something you would love to achieve. However, using her system for a sidetracked person is going to frustrate you and you will not get it done. If you've tried it, you probably know. You might have been able to Marie Kondo some drawers, but I'm talking about something big, like where you take all of your clothes and go through them. You're going to end up with clothes on the floor, clothes on the bed, some things hung up, uh, some piles that you need to give away that you never quite get out of the house. It's gonna be a big mess for you. So if you're a born organized person, it's gonna work great, but for a sidetracked person, that doesn't work, okay? So nothing against Marie Kondo or any of the other people out there who are born organized. I respect them and I admire them. It's just not something that I can do because it's going to overwhelm me because that's not the way I'm wired and that's okay. It's totally okay. All right, that's it for today. I hope that you got something out of this and I hope that you do follow this program and really commit to it and try not to get distracted by other people's videos that are doing it differently, doing a different system because most of the time, 
you'll find that that's not gonna work for you if it's not designed for a person who is sidetracked. I'm not saying that there aren't others out there that do things for people who are sidetracked, and that's great as well. I just want you to pick something and stick to it and stop trying to recreate the wheel. I suggest you stick to my plan since I have personally mentored hundreds and hundreds of people and I mentored under the Fly Lady and Fly Lady Premium previous to that. That's why I'm a Fly Lady. But I know that this will work for you. So come on, pick a program and stick to it. Commit to yourself that you will never quit and that you'll continue to try every day and that there's going to be days that you fall off the wagon and that's okay. You're going to forgive yourself, give yourself some grace and get back on and just step in where we are today. You're not gonna to try to make up for lost time, okay? All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you always remember that you are beautiful. So be beautiful.